in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and, and with your spirit. spirit brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries together we say i confess to almighty god, god and you my, my brothers and sisters that i have I greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what, what i have done, done and what, what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my, my most grievous fault therefore i ask the blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Lord 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 have mercy Lord have mercy Christ 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 have mercy Christ have mercy Lord 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 have mercy Lord have mercy Let us pray Look upon us O God creator and ruler of all things and that we may feel the working of your mercy grant that we may serve you with all our heart through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen a reading from the first letter of saint paul to timothy beloved teach and urge these things if anyone teaches a different doctrine and does not agree with the sound words of our lord jesus christ and the teaching that accords with godliness he is puffed up with conceit and understands nothing he has an unhealthy craving for controversy and for quarrels about words which produce envy dissension slander evil suspicions and constant friction among people who are depraved in mind and deprived of the truth imagining that godliness is a means of gain but godliness with contentment is great gain for we brought nothing into the world and we cannot take anything out of the world but if we have food and clothing with these we will be content but those who desire to be rich fall into temptation into a snare into many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evils it is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pangs but as for you o man of god flee these things pursue righteousness godliness faith love steadfastness gentleness fight the good fight of the faith take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and about which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses the word of the lord thanks be to god blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven together blessed are the poor in the spirit 
for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me, those who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches? Blessed are the poor in the spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. No man can ransom a brother, nor pay a price to God for his life. How high is the price of his soul? The ransom can never be enough. No one can buy life unending, nor avoid coming to the grave. Blessed are the poor in the spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Blessed are the poor in the spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Though he flattered himself while he lived, people will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his forebears and will never see the light anymore. Blessed are the poor in the spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Can you stand for the gospel? Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed to little children the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to Glory you, to o you Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus went on to the cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him, and also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Cusa, Herod's household manager, and Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their means. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, o Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, what do exercise programs, diet, marriage and Christian life have in common? It is fairly easy and fun to begin, but it is not easy to hang in for a long period of time. It is easy, my dear brothers and sisters, to get someone interested in the message of the gospel it is rather challenging to sustain the message and to keep up the values and to live the gospel for a long period of time. Christian life, as we know, is not a hundred yard dash, not a hundred meters run, but it is a marathon. St. Paul, my dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading writes to Timothy on how to go the distance, on how to run this marathon. Timothy has found himself rather in a difficult situation 
which is not suited for his timid personality. There are certain teachers who have risen in Ephesians and they are teaching false doctrine. And Timothy has to confront them and refute the errors that they make in teaching the doctrine. Paul is like a coach in half time. Like a coach in when a team is going to a rough time. The coach comes, Paul, like a coach comes, Paul also comes in and tells Timothy not to give up, to hold on. And he encourages Timothy. Paul tells Timothy four commands for perseverance. The first being to persevere a man of God will free, flee worldliness. To persevere a man of God will flee worldliness. A coach, my dear brothers and sisters, never tells the team to turn and run. To tell that other team is much stronger than theirs. Rather than the coach tells the team to stand and fight. To stand firm. But we see Paul telling otherwise over here. Paul knows that there are times victory is gained by fleeing and not fighting. He commands to flee. But flee from what? Flee immorality, idolatry, lustful passions, love of money, false doctrine, to flee worldliness. My dear brothers and sisters, we see in the book of Genesis when the serpent tempts Eve, the serpent uses three avenues to tempt. That the fruit would satisfy the desires of her taste. The fruit looks good outwardly, a delight for the eyes. And the third is, she wouldn't need to rely on God. All, all false teachings, temptations, instill in us the desire to rely on self and not on God. Hence, Paul tells to flee worldliness. The second aspect, my dear brothers and sisters, to persevere, a man of God must pursue godliness. Now, as you run from one thing, you run towards another thing. And Paul gives six qualities towards which to run to. Faith, godliness, Love, gentleness, righteousness, and perseverance. I repeat myself. Faith, godliness, love, gentleness, righteousness, and perseverance. The third point, my dear brothers and sisters, to persevere, a man of God will fight for the faith. To perceive a man of God will fight for the faith. And to fight for the faith, my dear brothers and sisters, one must know the faith. And unless you know your own faith, how can you fight for your faith? And not only knowledge, my dear brothers and sisters, but understanding and practical living is important. There are times we find difficult certain principles. Let us pray to God at all times to guide us in this tempting world of today. To guide us so that we may be strong in our faith and that through God's intervention we may fight for our faith. The fourth point, my dear brothers and sisters, to persevere a man of God will take hold of eternal life. To persevere, a man of God will take hold of eternal life. Salvation begins from God. God in his love and mercy imparts eternal life on us. He does not make any difference. He does not distinguish. In the gospel of today, 
Luke highlights women following Jesus. Although Jesus lived in a patriarchal society, there were women and Jesus did not stop them from following him. He accepted everyone. We also, my dear brothers and sisters, invited to do the same, not make any distinguish. There is still some, some of us have this patriarchal mentality within us. Husbands lord over their wives. They treat their wife unjustly at home. Let us, my dear brother and sister, change ourselves and treat equally everyone. Let us pray to God and remember this is not a hundred meters run that we are running, not a hundred yard dash, but a marathon that we are called to. Are you prepared, my dear brothers and sisters, to run this marathon? Let us free, flee worldliness, pursue godliness, fight for our faith and take hold of eternal life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory, we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts you pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Jesus. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and res resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and also gracious, our Bishop, all his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless you, Joseph, our spouse, and the blessed apostles, and all the saints that please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coherent, eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for mere we evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called at a supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, 
in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. How precious is your mercy, O God! The children of men seek shelter in the shadow of your wings. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. We stand for God and for His glory.